Ba, 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 ba. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Musings. Today is day 21 of Vita and over at Weavelog Collective the topic for today is challenge yourself. Make a video you wouldn't normally make. So I've had a look at the videos that I've made in the past and I've made how-to videos. So I'm going to show you how to fold some pieces of paper. Top 10 videos. And I thought a great way to start off my vlog would be to do a top 10 list of the reasons to do Vita. Vlogs. Hey guys, I'm on my way to the train station to catch a train to the airport because I'm heading to Perth today for my scientific conference. Artistic videos. Rant videos. Why are you filming yourself when you were driving in your car? What in the hell are you doing? And advice videos. Are you one of those people who always ums and ahs when it comes to making a decision or a choice? Guess what? So am I. Over the years, I have collected a number of techniques which I employ whenever I have to make an important decision or choice. And looking at all these videos, I've found a common theme. They're all edited. Each one of those videos has edits in it. So I thought what I would do for you today is challenge myself and make a one-take video. Starting from now. I'm going to give myself two minutes to talk about a topic of my choosing and I will not edit this part of the video because it's supposed to be a one take. Starting from now, no, starting from now. So on the weekend, next weekend, David and I will be heading down to, down? No, we're going up. We're going down, we're going up to the border between Queensland and New South Wales. We're going to go stay at Byron Bay. We're camping for three nights. So we're going to spend all day in the car on Friday. Then on Saturday, we'll be there to enjoy the beach and the surroundings and all that stuff. Sunday, same thing. Look around, see what's up, go to the beach, enjoy ourselves, relax. And then on the third day, we will be coming home. Is it two nights or three nights? It must be three nights. So then we stay there another night and then we come home on the Monday. And it takes about eight hours to drive up to where we're staying, Byron Bay. But I think it's worth it. I think I've stayed there before in the past, but I can't remember. Uh, but, you know, it's Australia and all the beaches are beautiful. So, you know what? It doesn't matter. I know I'm going to have a good time. I'm a little bit worried about the weather, though. It might not be fantastic. It might actually be a bit chilly. Which is annoying because I wanted to go north because I know north is warmer the further north you go. And no, it's, I looked at the, the um, what is it called? The weather forecast and it's only 20 degrees Celsius predicted at this point in time. Hopefully as the week progresses it'll get warmer and warmer. And then once we get there it'll be about, I don't know, 25 degrees hopefully. My phone just went off but I don't think it was my timer. No. But I do have 23 seconds left so... That was my video for today, that was my challenge, and I think I did pretty well talking to two minutes without editing this for you. So, look forward to that trip, and I will see you tomorrow for the next day of Vida. Peace out.